Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state rivalry in America's heartland. Iowa and Iowa State both on the field concluding warm-ups in what is always an intense battle. The winner claims the Cyhawk trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. state bragging rights, recruiting, and the Cyhawk Trophy. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 and down he goes at the 29 the quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game He makes it to the 32-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Tackle for a loss. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 27. And he's hit immediately. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. That makes it fourth and four. Lee awaiting the return. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Iowa's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. And he's taken down at the 31 yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Almost intercepted there. 
Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. the 43-yard line. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. Quick throw. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. Second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Caught, and that's a first down. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. the nine-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it third and three. Tackle made around the six-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. They're going to go for the easy three here. Iowa State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they finally knock him out at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Runs right for a nice game. That brings him second and five. it to the eight. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That 
Cyclones. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Cyclones in front, 3-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he dives forward. Church gains around six yards on the run. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Defense and their short yardage package. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he shows you why right there. And he converts the extra point. Go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. What is happening in Waco? And for North Texas, they're looking to snap their current losing streak. Hester is a dangerous trigger man in this passing offense, and he already has a touchdown pass. The mean green are on top, 7-3, early in the second quarter. 7-3 in this one. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. The tackle at the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got some open field. Makes it out to about the 40. it out and it falls incomplete terrific coverage and when you clog up passing lanes like that you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions almost got themselves a turnover too second down and 10 to go ball on the 40. trying to set up a little screen gets it to his tailback knocked out of bounds at the 45. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. From the 33-yard line, second down. they needed for the first. I've seen way too many offenses airing it out on third and short and failing. I just have to sit there and scratch my head sometime. Good call. And they got him for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. From the 22-yard line, Second down. Throws to the back quickly. Off his hands. Incomplete. This is the 10th play of this drive. No. 
Short pass, middle of the field, and he tackles him hard at the 18. Who brings him down at the 18-yard line? Fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 to Mike. Let's go. Let's go. To the end zone. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 73-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 10-7. Ward has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven, he's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 24 on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Gets out to around the 32. That makes it first and ten. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Passes to the back, incomplete. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They put everyone up on the line. Here we go. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. to about the 23. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-7, Cyclone.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up. Try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Very close game now as we start the second half. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Got it out to his tight end. And down he goes. Around the 36-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 47-yard line. First down. From the 47 yard line, first down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That'll make it second and four. Run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. That, that makes it first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. Here we go. Nice gain as he works the right side. That brings him second and five. Gets out to about the 28 yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. First down grab by the receiver. Tackle at the 23. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he hits him hard at the 17 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Two tights, two tights. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Tenth play of the drive. Let's go. 
handoff, and he won't make it. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Iowa can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Harris from the seven. Brought down at the 32. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun tackle made around the 44 yard line they come out in a five wide set Falls incomplete. From the 44 yard line, it's second down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Gets out to around the 28. That's a team that made a play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. Game of 17 to play. First down. it to the 44. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. So with one quarter remaining and a 10-10 tie in this game.
Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Game of 16 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. He's tackled around the 12 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Catches it, gets out of bounds. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He's tackled at the five-yard line. That brings him second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's taken down around the five-yard line. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws it away. He gets it up, and he's got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Baylor in action over in Waco. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for North Texas, they could drop their fourth in a row. Clark a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. Baylor leads it 27-17. Thanks, Reese. 13-10 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Cyclones have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. And he tackles him hard. It's the 37-yard line. the 39-yard line. Let's do him again. Good break. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's got it with room to run. Good open field tackle. That'll bring up second and three. 
Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 27. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And this is the eighth play of the drive. fourth quarter in a game this tight that might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game let's go, let's go, let's go. it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it they come out in an empty backfield makes the ground and steps out right away Here's play number 10 on the drive. Under a minute left. Tackled for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Iowa State's going to take their first time out of the half. From the nine-yard line. Second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He fights forward to about the seven. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Iowa State will have one timeout remaining. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds around the four-yard line. Well, the kicker is on here, and if this goes, we've got a tie ball game. If not, this one's in the books. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Jackson fields it at the 7. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left in the game. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 27. Scrambling. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Yeah, 
Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. hit immediately. Second down and about two yards to go. Touchdown, Cyclones. It can be advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up the score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on him. He makes the PAT. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. is out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 16. That's a deep That brings in second and one. Back, 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 back. The 10. Touchdown, Iowa! It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 12 yard line. Very on the tackle at the 12 yard line. First down. pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 12. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. He splits the uprights with the extra point. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. And that one's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten.
gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds at the three. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Iowa State wanting. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, and today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.